Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to our brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add an image onto a part. Just before the video begins, I would just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to go to the top bar here, click on View and click on Explorer and Properties. So they are pressed down and they should be somewhere over your screen. Now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, we now want to go and insert our part. Now, feel free to go and resize this part to whatever you'd like. For this tutorial, we're going to make it just kind of like a, a bit of a wall there, which is going to be holding the image, but you can go size it to whatever you want like. It doesn't really matter, but go and customize the part that is going to be holding your image. So now that you guys have customized your part, you want to go up to your part, click on your part so it is highlighted, and then you want to click the plus button and insert a decal. If you do not see decal here in the frequently used, just search up decal, just like that, and then click on decal to add the decal into your part. Now, as you guys can see, there's a slight orange kind of frame around this front face. Now, if you want to change where the image is on the part, you can go down to here where it says the face. And for example, if we put it to the bottom, it'll be put down to the bottom here, basically meaning the image will be down here and not over here. But for this tutorial, we'll be leaving it on front. So now that you've got your image, you now want to go and get your image ID. So you're probably wondering, how do I actually get my image ID? So this is fairly simple. Depending if you want your own image ID, let's say you wanted to upload your own custom image onto Roblox, you follow the processes there. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be using a, a free modeled uh, image that someone else uploaded. So what you want to do, you want to go and click on the create or the marketplace button on the main Roblox page. And then you should load up to a screen looking something like this on the marketplace, just like that. Okay. Then you want to go over to where it says images. And now this has given you every single image that is on side Roblox, which is for sale. For some reason, we got some shiny cutie face for some odd reason, but you can go up here and search in something. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to search in fish. Okay. So we will go click on this one and then you want to go to the top link, copy the ID that is in there and then take it back to Roblox studio. So now that you're back in Roblox Studio, you want to go click on your part again and you want to then click on the decal. Now the decal properties will show. Now here where it says texture, there's a blank uh, area here. You want to click on that and then you want to control V your ID into that. And as you guys can see, now our fishbowl shows up. And obviously now you can go and customize the thing and this, the image will just simply resize itself. But now keep in mind, you can use other image IDs, but for this tutorial, we use the one that had a fishbowl. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. This is a fairly simple process, but if you guys do need any help, please feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.